At first glance, most life forms on Earth are more or less symmetrical. But deep down, that's not the case. On a molecular level, most of the core building blocks for life are asymmetrical. We like to think of them as left or right-handed, and we call them L or D to match. The mirror image versions of these molecules, usually only found in a lab, are similar in many ways, but different in others. For example, natural L amino acids form peptide chains, and D amino acids also do that. Peptides can fold into specific structures depending on their sequence, and the same sequences in D will have identical but mirrored structures. With the right shape, an L-peptide can bind to a protein surface very tightly and specifically, and have some therapeutic effect as a drug. L-peptides, unfortunately, don't last very long in the body. Digestive enzymes chop up any free-floating peptides into little pieces, sometimes within minutes. D-peptides, however, aren't recognized by these asymmetrical enzymes. D-peptides last much longer as a result, giving them a lot of potential as drugs. The trick is finding one that fits a given protein. It can't just be the same sequence as an L-peptide that fits, because the shape would be backwards. We can use a virus called phage, which produces random peptides on its surface, to assess billions of new sequences for target binding. These peptides, like the phage, are all L, but if we make a mirror image D version of the target protein, and find an L-peptide that fits there. We can then make that same sequence in D. It will fit the original protein, and we are on our way to a D-peptide drug.